a skills lesson plan using the elements of effective skills instruction no matter what kind of skill you are teaching an academic skill an athletic skill a musical skill think about a skill that you've learned and how you best learned it a coach or a teacher who seemed to know how to teach and do things there are five elements of effective instruction identify the procedural components direct instruction and modeling, guided practice, the most important part, independent practice, and then review and integration. And we shall go into all of these. This is an example. Students will learn how to use the thinking skill creating groups. That's my purpose statement for this skills lesson. The input is the information I am going to give. Now, I'm going to identify the parts, instruct you directly. Here are the steps, and I'm going to model it. So watch carefully. Boys and girls, today we are going to learn how to use a new thinking skill called creating groups. Thinking skills are skills used to help you organize your thoughts. They have specific steps to follow. They make complicated thinking seem easy. I'm giving you the steps, the parts of it. Creating groups is a thinking skill. Scientists use this skill a lot. They look at animals and organisms and patterns and put them in groups. Writers use this a lot. They brainstorm ideas and then they look for groups to write reports or do other things. Now, these are the steps. Step one, you look at all the things you have Step two, you look for things that are the same, patterns or groups. Step three, you arrange them into groups. And step four, you, decide, you describe the groups and the numbers within each group. These are the steps. Number seven, I would then model this skill by having the class list things they hate to do. We'd write their ideas on the board. Then we would use the skills to create groups. And I would think out loud. That's called cognitive modeling as I do that. Hmm, let me think. Here are two things the same. All right. Guided practice. As a class, we'd brainstorm to list 10 interesting events that have happened at school in the last week. I'd think out loud to help students organize their groups. Hmm, are there things that are the same here? And I'd ask students to look for groups. If I wanted more guided practice, we would sit in a circle, each student put one shoe in a pile, I'd call on students to find groups, two or more shoes that are the same somehow. An independent practice or an activity is practice of what they have just learned. Working with a partner, boys and girls, is 15 things that have happened so far in the book. This is a reading, post-reading activity. Create groups out of those things and describe these events events in terms of your groups in your journal or learning law. And then I'd ask those two questions in the green. All right, the elements of effective skills instructions. You have your purpose statement. You have your input where you describe the specific steps and you model it. You have your guided practice where you take them through each step together as a class and you have your independent practice where you practice doing what you have just taught them. And with any skill, you cannot expect students to learn it once, so you have to review, revisit, and integrate it into other parts of your curriculum.